So you've probably read the title of this video and you're thinking, what the fuck's this cockhead on about? <laughs> now I know this title sounds really weird. Is Ilya Tapiri the next Conor McGregor or Darren Till? What's the correlation? Well, the correlation is obviously when Conor McGregor fought Jose Aldo, he was on top of the world. He was talking all the trash in the world. He did a world tour. He's going everywhere saying, I'm going to make it look easy. Well, actually, he said, I'm going to make it look easy, eh? I'm going to fucking knock his fucking block off, yeah? I'm going to fucking make it look easy, yeah? Fucking... What he said, I'm going to set up traps for him. He won't be able to see a thing coming. I'm going to fucking whoop him, yeah? Fucking rat of a thing, yeah? You know, it's just... He's talking up in every interview saying, I'm going to knock him out. I'm going to make it look easy, all this stuff. And... You know, he was bullying Jose Aldo, taking his belt, trying to take his belt from him. Uh, he farted on him. You know, he was just talking all the trash in the world. And everybody, man and his dog, were saying, oh, he's going to get whooped. You know, Connor's all talk. And he goes in there and he walks the walk. He goes in there and he knocks out uh, Jose Aldo in 13 seconds. One of the best KOs in a championship fight. One of the best championship performances of all time. Cause he went in there and beat a you know, a long-reigning featherweight champion like Jose Aldo, and he made it look absolutely fucking easy. There was no, you know, there was no fucking controversy about it. He went in there and he made that look absolutely easy. Uh, and then why do I say Darren Till? I, I mentioned Darren Till because Darren Till was in, a, was in a sort of similar situation. You know, uh, I'm not saying he's better than Ilya Taporia or anything like that. I just mean... Uh, divisionally, same sort of situation. Uh, Darren Till came up, very brash, very cocky uh, fighter. Uh, went in there, won some fights. You know, I'm not saying he's a, a similar fighter to Ilya Tapira. I'm not saying they fight similar or anything like that because they couldn't be any different. Now. But I just mean like their rise up has been very similar. Obviously, Darren Till had a bit of a controversial win over Wonderboy. And Ilya Tapira just beat the fuck out of Josh Emmett. But like what I'm saying is, you know, he went in there, he was confident, and he sort of, you know, the, he didn't beat like the number one contender, but he got thrusted into a title shot, which is what I feel like Ilya Tapuri is getting here. Does did he deserve the title shot? Absolutely, but I'm just saying Josh Emmett's not like a world beater, an elite fighter, in my opinion. I don't think he is elite. He's a hard hitter, but outside of that, his skill set's not really that great. Uh, obviously, Wonder Boy is a very good fighter, very good elite striker, but. I, I'm just saying, like, the way they have got their title shots, they didn't beat, like, a, the next big guy up or anything like that. They just, they want to fight against a guy who normally wouldn't get you a number one contender. That wouldn't normally be a one number one contender fight. But, you know, they go in there, win that fight, and then they thrusted right in there against the champion. And now it's, like, sink or swim, pretty much, here. You know, we're going to see how good he really is. We're going to see, like, how old was Darren Till when he fought uh, Woodley? He was, like, what? 23, 24, 25. He's like about 26. Same age as Ilya Tapuria, I believe. Ilya Tapuria is 26, 27. Uh, let me just double check this. You know, they're the same sort of age range. Uh, I think... How old is Ilya Tapuria? Ilya Tapuria, so he's 27. He's just turned 27, pretty much. Uh, how old was McGregor against Aldo? I feel like he was also very close to that age, right? Uh... Let me just double check this real quick. Because, like, th there is a lot of similarities. Like, this is this could go one of two ways for Ilya Tapuri. He could go in there. Yeah, 27 as well. Wow, fucking hell. They were both very similar ages when they uh, got their title shots. So that's pretty cool. Uh, actually, I think Darren Till would have been 23, 24. Would have been 25. So he was a bit younger. But still, they're in very similar situations here. It's sick or swim here. Ilya Tapura might go in there and he might beat up Volk. He might go in there and knock him out in the first round. And he's going to be an instant star because he's talked all the smack in the world. He said that he's going to make it look easy, that Volkanovski's going to be a punching bag. He's already calling out next fights and stuff like that. He's smashed. He's uh, trash talking the whole division. He's actually trash talking Conor McGregor himself. Uh, and, you know, he could go in there and he really could go be this big force in the UFC featherweight division and he could go on there and become like one of the biggest stars in the world but then on the other end he could be a Darren Till where he goes in there and Volk or in Darren Till's case Tyron Woodley just goes in there and absolutely fucking smokes this guy just goes in there and beats the shit out of him makes him look 
ordinary in there. And that is a possibility. Volk might go in there and he might absolutely fucking smash Ilya. Like, he might make it not look close at all. He might go in there, drop him instantly in the ground, uh, beat him up on the ground, just fucking... Just show him levels. And that is a that is a scenario where this could happen in there. And then what's going to happen to Ilya Teporia after that? Is he going to just go on a downward trajectory? Is he going to go, you know, just down? Is he going to lose every fight after this? Is he going to never be the same? Who knows? He's got so much confidence in himself. If that illusion uh, gets broken in his mind, he, he could be a broken man in there. I'm not saying he's going to be a broken man. Maybe he loses and he, he gets better from this. But he is put himself in such a dangerous situation where this could all fall apart on him. Not only has he got a uh, his Instagram bio where he's fifteen and zero or whatever is you know he's already put that he's beat Volk, but he's also got that he's the UFC featherweight champion. But he's not only is he going to have to go and change his bio if he loses, but he's also already percent he's already started a documentary for when he wins the belt and all this stuff. He's filming camera crews and all this shit. Like, what's he going to do with the fucking documentary if he loses? Like, he's put himself in such a fucking crazy scenario where if he doesn't win, he's going to be absolutely clowned. He's going to be bullied. He's going to fucking... He's going to have to never go on social media again. He's put himself in such a dangerous situation. Like, it's generally fucking insane. The uh, scenario, the situation, everything he's put him in and put himself in at his own doing. Like, he's either going to be the biggest star or the biggest flop in UFC history, like this could be the down downfall for him. I'm not saying that is going to be the case. I think Ilya Tapuri does seem like the type of guy who would come back from a loss, but like with everything he's put on him, you know, every he's added so much extra stress, some so much unnecessary stress. Where he could go in there and this this could age really badly for him. He could go in there, he could get dropped, he could get beaten up, he could get subbed, he could get beaten every single way. Volt could be fucking juggling him around on his back and slamming him all over the place. Picking him up, ragdolling him, beating him up on the ground, subbing him, and then that's it. That's Ilya's fucking confidence. Because Ilya's confidence is up here. Like, it's all the way up here. If he loses, his confidence is gone. Like, he's going to lose so much confidence if he goes in there and he loses, like, what, 50 42? If he gets finished in the later rounds, if he just gets brutalized. Like, I generally do wonder how he's going to take these fights. Like, how is this going to age for him? He goes in there and gets absolutely smoked. But, yeah, that that is that is my context of why I have this title. That, you know, I'm not saying he fights any bit similar to Darren Till. I'm not saying, you know, Darren Till's a left-hand merchant. They're very different fighters, different personalities, but they both they were both very cocky, both very confident. You know, Darren Till is talking about how he's going to go in there. He's going to, it's, you know, Tyron Woodley's time's over. He's old now. He's going to lose. And that's why Elita Puri is saying about Volk. He's saying he's old. He's not going to win this. You know, you're old now. Uh, I'm going to show you levels and all this stuff. And, you know, Darren Till was saying all this stuff and he got smoked. So, this could be... Ilya Il- Tapiri could be the next Darren Till. Like, I'm not... Like I say, I don't think they fight similar, but I just mean, like, circumstantially, circumstances-wise, he could end up being a next Darren Till type fighter. Especially if he goes in there and has a bad loss. Because, he, like I say, he's put so much pressure on himself. I imagine at the press conference he's going to talk some more smack. So, it's going to put even more pressure on him. So, yeah, like I say, this could be one of the biggest fucking derailments of a career ever. Or he goes on there and he becomes the next Conor McGregor, the next biggest star in the sport. Like, he's really at a crossroads right now. He's, 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 this is going to be so stressful for him, I reckon. Because he's, he's either he's going to be the biggest guy in the sport, or he's going to be a nobody after this fight. And it's just going to be a fucking walking, talking, trash talk gone wrong fucking video. I can already see it. If he loses... There's going to be about a hundred trash talking gone wrong videos where it's just going to be millions of views. Everyone's going to post everywhere and that's going to be his legacy for a while. Like I say, now, Ilya Tapura can come back from this if he loses and maybe he goes on to be champion in the future. But you never know. Some of these fighters, they take losses and they take losses really fucking badly. Like Some fighters are never the same after the losing because they, they lose that undefeated mentality, that mentality of, yeah, you know what? Everything works for me. Nothing's going to fucking worry me in that cage. You know, I'm at home in this cage. But eventually, it doesn't always work out, does it? It doesn't always work out. Eventually, somebody finds you. They clip you. They drop you. They beat you. And it's like, oh, fuck. That's it for me. Like, I'm not I'm not that guy I thought I was. And then to rebuild that confidence is a fucking mission and a half on its own. But I am interested to see how this all plays out. Next week, we find out. Maybe Iliad proves... 
Well, I mean, maybe he goes in there and he becomes the Conor McGregor, or maybe, maybe he doesn't. Maybe he becomes somebody completely different. Maybe he becomes the Ilya Tapuria, where maybe he loses badly and then goes on and wins the title in the future. Who knows? But I just thought I'd make this video. I thought this was like an interesting little comparison to make. I'm sure people see the title of this and say, oh, what a fucking idiot. But just, like I said, you always got to listen to the videos first and listen to what I've got to say because I feel like I do make some points with uh, when I go on these little uh, rants. But anyway, that's all I've got to say on this topic. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like this video, subscribe. Give me your thoughts. Is Ilya Tapura going to be the next Darren Till or is he the next Conor McGregor in your mind? So yeah, let me know how you guys have it going and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much. Uh, and yeah, cheers. I'll see you guys next time.